Hi, I'm Eric with Wild Rose 911. We are asked an excellent question from Rex at one of the forums that we participate in on LinkedIn. And the question was regards to harmonic vibration in the Crown Victorias when they initially came out. So I'm gonna have Seton come over and discuss uh, not only that, but other upgrades that he's done to make the car actually better than it was when it came off the factory line. Seton? Thanks, Eric. As Eric said, uh, we're involved in several forums to help uh, fleet managers and departments with costs and um, upgrades on their vehicles. And uh, Rex brought up a very good question. Um, with the Crown Victorias, they used to have a vibration at high speed. Uh, we fixed that problem um, and we've done it several ways. We actually um, upgraded the uh, drive shafts and um, balance them as well as we have upgraded universal joints and we've also fitted um, high performance heavy duty rear track bars on these vehicles. Uh, the standard ones in our opinion were too light, uh, gave them a lot of fish tailing and vibration and we've put high tensile steel, tubular, TIG welded track bars on these vehicles and they're also bushed with polypropylene sleeve bushings so that's made that rear end really tight and it's made these vehicles handle way better than what they ever used to. In fact you probably uh, picked up 25 to 30 mile an hour um, cornering with these upgrades and of course we've got around that uh, vibration they had. Also a problem they, they had which Rex didn't bring up which was a major concern to police departments because these are big heavy cars they're great for doing the job but of course brake failure was an issue in the past uh, they had a dot 3 system in them which we felt at Wild Rose 911 wasn't a good enough braking system so we upgraded them to a dot 4 racing system which Ferrari and Porsche use which has more than doubled the boiling point of the brake fluid in these vehicles and overheating fluid and boiling was the main brake failure which they had so we've also upgraded that so uh, that's another upgrade we've done on these vehicles that we feel you know safety is so important to us and these vehicles are such a good vehicle for the job where they're heavy strong they have a full box chassis frame uh, very safe for the drivers and they can do feats with these vehicles they can't do with a normal two-wheel drive car so these vehicles were almost as good as a four-wheel drive SUV uh, strength wise and condition wise um, the law enforcement this vehicle has been the backbone of the country for so many years so with our refurbishing program uh, we can do a light refurbishing on these vehicles uh, for 17.5, so you can have three vehicles refurbished for the price of one equipped vehicle on the road. So that makes so much economic sense. And for your fleet operators, the running costs are very low on these vehicles. We've had departments come back to us with other vehicles they've been using, and they've told us that they've tripled their maintenance cost. And certainly from a safety point of view, these vehicles have a big frame, they weigh 4,300 pounds, they can pit stop an F-350 pickup truck um, in a crash situation, the drivers are being uninjured. What other vehicle can you pit stop a 350 Ford pickup truck if you're a two-wheel drive car? So seeing I got two questions for you. Uh, why would I lose the new car warranty? Well, our refurbished vehicles come with a two year unlimited mileage warranty and a three year unlimited mileage warranty. So theoretically, if you're a high usage department, which we've spoken to departments that do in excess of 100,000 miles a year, some of these rural departments, you're covered by full Ford factory warranty for your engine and transmissions for two years. So theoretically, you could do 250,000 miles and still have full Ford coverage for warranty. And if you go with our full refurbishing, you can have three years unlimited. So you could do 400,000 miles and still be covered by full Ford 
factory warranty anywhere in the country. And that's on the engine and the transmission, yes. right? Yes, which are your major expenses, and as every fleet operator knows, they're not going to get 100000 out of a transmission if it's having heavy, hard police use. So it's, it's a no-brainer. So seeing just before we sign out, why don't you give the fleet managers out there your email address and how they can get a hold of you if they have any questions. Okay, you can contact me at Seton at wildrose911.com and Seton spelled S-E-T-O-N or you can uh, go online and uh, contact us through our phone number which is 714-260-4... 4867 and uh, we'd be happy to help you out there so you know we have the solution for you fleet operators that need to keep your costs down and you need to make your dollars spin out so uh, thank you for looking at our YouTube um, and just keep those questions coming we're, we're happy to help you out we're happy to tell you about new technologies which we're using on these vehicles and it's for the good of all